Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video by Rail Suffolk in the ISFL Division 2. Today we're away to Chantry Phoenix with me Jason Lewis and me Ben Cadamore. Let's take a look at the lineup today. You've got myself in goal, Chris, Lewis, George and Daquan in defence. Craney, Brandon, Cookie, Liam and Jordan in midfield and Curtis up top on his own with Jamie and Kyle on the bench. Let's hope we have another good game today by the boys trying to see if we can get a run going with uh, Trinity Phoenix getting us underway. It's uh, poor conditions again as we're sort of coming into the winter season. But um, Trinity Phoenix today, what we noticed was their goalkeeper wasn't probably an actual keeper, don't you think, Ben? And um, Yeah, um, I think that their actual goalkeeper wasn't there, so he very bravely stepped in. Um, kudos to him. Well. But uh, as Trinity Phoenix seemed to come forward with the ball here, it's a bat pass to me. It's an early touch. Um, and uh, nothing really comes from that. But uh, we move forward in the game, five minutes on the clock, and uh, it's Chris trying to shield the ball out there, but um, he get, picks it up, looks to play it to Hutchie here, but it's a poor pass, and it's found by the striker in the box. He's hit it. Ooh. I'm not sure that you had that covered, Jason. No chance, no chance, and uh, well, poor defending, really, from the boys. We haven't really got started in this game yet, and in the seventh minute, it's uh, Georgia plays it back to me. It's bobbling about. Oh, oh. It's a good thing that was not played in between the posts, Jason. I'll tell you what, that, that, those, both goal mouths were horrendous. It's, well, the whole pitch was, you can see. It's uh, not the best conditions out there, but that is Sunday league for you. But it's a great ball forward of the striker. It's a good touch. He hit it with his left. Good save. Strong hand there, Jason. Tips it wide. And uh, it's all trying to Phoenix in this first 10 minutes. And uh, here they are on the right-hand side now. Um, gets past tackle of Jordan. Crosses it in. Comes to the edge to the striker. He's gone for it. It's a low one. It's parried. It's oh. spilled. Oh, you just got again. there. Took, took a blow to the wrist there as well. But uh, sort of bobbling about. But um, again, 16 minutes now. And uh, it's a goal kick for us here. And Hutchie looks to play it long. Liam gets it down, but he doesn't uh, doesn't have managed to keep hold of it. And uh, trying to finish, come forward now. He's got a lot of time on the ball. He plays it forward to that far side. Plays it inside. That's a great touch from the striker. He's one on one. He's hit it. Uh, He's found the bottom corner. It's one nil to try to Phoenix. Yeah, again, as you say, he's got lots of time there over on that left wing. He squares it. And this Isn't is actually a very good finish. Very so. good touch there as well. I right? don't think you could have done much about that. So fair play. Found good the goal. corner and it's 1-0. And we still haven't got started in this game. And uh, it's 1-0 to Trident Phoenix as we approach the half hour mark. It's a good ball forward. He's 1-1. One one. Oh. Another good save, Jason. You've been quite busy so far. It's doing all right. But uh, Trident Phoenix with a goal kick here. Oh, Ooh. oh it's not very good. Now, Liam's there with the poke. Ooh finish with the outside of the foot it's 1-1 one, one. it's a goal we don't deserve no he obviously scuffs that straight at the striker and then this is actually quite a nice finish outside the boot curling away that's his second outside of the foot goal this season for Liam and yeah uh, we'll take it but we don't deserve it as uh, we approach the half-time whistle now and um somehow we're, we're still in this game or we're level which is which is um, a real surprise as uh, we have the ball on the right hand side there it's played forward to Craney but that is enough for the first half it is 1-1 one, one. well I think so far Real are quite lucky that they're drawing because 100%. they've um, you know I believe Chantry have had the better chances you actually had some good moments in goal which is added. nice for a change <laughs> um, so I think Real really need to Get their ideas up. That was our halftime talk. It was, it was, you know, we haven't done enough in this game. We haven't got out of first gear, but somehow we're still in it. We could have been four or five nil down, but uh, second half is underway now, and uh, we kick it off, and it's with Daquan on that left hand side. Plays it inside to Craney. Um, plays it back here to Hutchie, who is good possession with the ball here with the boys and uh, it's Chris who bonds forward on that right hand side plays inside to Curtis it's a great one two with him can he get there again he's just beaten to it by the defender and it goes out for a corner and here is that corner um, it's played in by Curtis players have gone up for it it's found the back it's of the net it. I'm not sure how it went in the camera kind of zooms out but is that, a, is that a header or a flick well Cookie has claimed it his his Name has gone down on the score sheet, and somehow we find ourselves 2 1 up. And uh, it's Trinity Phoenix here in the 56th minute play a long ball in the box. I've come for it, I've Ooh, punched it. Good punch. I've taken a blow. 
I'm down on the ground and um, it took a bit of a hit to the ribs. But uh, as we play on, I, I, I'm still so <laughs> I just about get up there and um, trying to feel it's still got possession of the ball. It's played forward here. It's bounces. I've come for it again. Oh, I've beaten there. Very brave, Jason. Very I'm just going to take a little rest here. My ribs were in agony. And I must say, it's been about a month later and they still hurt. So something's happened here. But um, 68 minutes on the clock now. And uh, we win the ball back from a free kick from Trinity Phoenix. And uh, it's Dacron on that left-hand side who's bringing it forward. Plays it across to Curtis. He takes a touch on the half volley. Oh! oh! What a goal! I, I have to say it. Goal of the season contender right there. You say that every week. Half volley. Look at that. Top corner. I can't really say much more. Brilliant. What a goal. And uh, as the next attack here with me with a long kick forward. Goes over the halfway line. It's... Some kind of flying <laughs> header by the defender. I'm not entirely sure why, but... And as Jordan picks it up now, plays it out wide to Curtis. The goal scorer on the ball. Looks forward, plays it to uh, Cookie. Plays it now out wide to Brandon. Lots of space on the ball. Plays it forward. It's a good ball here into um, Jordan. Has the shot. Comes up to Dacron on the left-hand side. He has a go. Keep it parry. He's found a corner of the net. It's yeah. four. That seems to be straight at the keeper, who, again, as we said earlier, is not uh, normally in goal. So, uh, yeah. Um, good effort by Dacron. We'll take a, that. It's a good strike. But, uh, yeah, you do have to feel for the keeper there. It's 4-1. Where was this team in the first half? We've really brought it out. And um, 70th minute now, so there's, there's a lot of action here. Crane with the free kick, finds the bottom corner. I didn't think at half time we'd now be talking about <laughs> being 5-1 up. This is a really cool, calm free kick. Doesn't need to get high on it. He just knows more to stick it in that bottom corner. It was a, yeah, great free kick by Craney. And... Um, as uh, we look to dominate this half even Absolutely more. And it comes flying. out to Brandon. Loads of space. He's gone for goal. He's hit it. In off the post. 6-1. These shots they're pulling out are incredible. This is great. Again, outside the boot. Curving away. Inside of the uh, post. <laughs> yeah. 6-1. Who would have thought it? And um, as we approach the last 10 minutes of the game now, Triton Phoenix trying to build an attack, but they lose out again to Brandon. He's gone for goal again from distance. No. He's oh. caught the keeper out. There's another goal of the season contender. I'm really losing track of things I can say about these long range shots. So I would just say that was a great goal. Great lob. Keeper thought it was going wide by the looks of it, but uh, 7 1 to Real Suffolk. This is unbelievable. It's probably our biggest win the whole time the club's existed, I think. But um, here come Trant Phoenix now on the attack. It uh, gets to the byline, crosses in. Oh, oh that, look, that looked like a, quite an obvious hand. And it's a penalty to Trant Phoenix. Can Jason keep his nerve? He likes to claim that he's good at saving penalties. With... I have a technique. Yep. And the funny thing is here. Is uh, as they step it up, I go the wrong way. I see, yeah. Well, <laughs> that technique serving you well, Jason. But it's 7 2. I can't even say it's a great penalty. It doesn't even find the corner. It's sort of just, just to the right of the centre of the goal. I've just sort of fallen over. But uh, anyway, 7 2 to Rail Suffolk. As the next highlight starts with me throwing the ball out here to Brandon. Plays it forward to Jamie, who's come on as a substitute. And inside to Craney. Plays that long ball forward and out wide. To Curtis, who takes a great first touch here. Comes forward, looks for the pass. Sets up Jamie. He's teased up. He's hit it. Oh, <laughs> what a rocket. For his first goal for the club, we find ourselves 8-2 up. That was a fantastic team goal, because that all came from when you threw it out. So, again, a fantastic team goal, and what a finish there. The power he got on that strike. You can see, just where he hits it, he's, he's sort of gearing himself up and... And uh, yes, yeah, a great strike. And um, as we approach the 90 now, as Hachu took the goal kick for me, he plays it forwards. And um, trying to finish, have another chance here. It's played forward. Oh, it's another save. It's another save. And could that be handball? But the handball. The referee has seen enough. He's blown for full time. 8 2 win for the boys. Who'd have said that at half time? I'm not sure how they managed to score seven goals in one half. 
Um, after that first perf- uh, half performance, probably could have been 2-1, 3-1 down. But In the past, we would have rolled over and lost 6-0 that game. So I've got to say, absolutely fantastic performance by Real. That's brilliant. And uh, we'll see you next week for the next video. Thank you for watching.